Hey, Cam Callender here. Just wanted to, you know, open you guys up to the knowledge blast that I used to write way back in 2013. Uh, we're going to start it back over with this video content. We're going to bring it to you live so you can see me. You can get some of the insight that I have and bestowed on the, on the past with knowledge blast. And the first topic that we're going to talk about is sales. Now, you know, there's a lot of people that say, oh, I don't like sales or I'm not a salesperson or I'm not in a sales or I'm no good at it. It's a skill like any other. You do have to develop it. But sales is something that everybody is in part of. You know, everybody does it on a day to day basis. They just don't really realize it. You know, sales doesn't have to be the actual exchange of money and the skill that is done. When you convince somebody to do something, you know, that they weren't thinking about doing, you know, whether they go and see the movie that you want to go see or they go to the restaurant that you want to go to or, you know, if they go out to eat and go to lunch and they go to the place that you want to go to and what instead of what they were, you know, thinking about going to, then you've just sold them on going to that particular place. You know, it doesn't have to technically be the exchange of money to, to develop your sales skill. So, you know, what people think about sales is that they're, they're actually have to, you know, collect money or have to be a hard bargain or drive, you know, that type of mentality of what they feel as a salesperson. But it's not necessarily that, you know, it's, it's a skill of convincing somebody to move towards a particular item, product or service. You know, and that's really what it is as far as sales. Most everybody that's in a job has some type of part that they're in with sales or they're in the customer facing process of it, you know, by helping maintain a customer base, whether it be customer service, whether it be, you know, even as far as working in a restaurant, just being a server or something of that nature. When you interact with customers, you're helping maintain that customer base and keeping that business afloat because every customer that you interact with is getting a part of that profit, you know, getting that revenue for that business. And without that revenue and profits, then that business doesn't keep on going and they fall apart, you know, hence layoffs, downsizing, anything of that nature. It all comes back to selling and maintaining that customer base. So, you know, that's really what it boils down into sales, you know, and on the flip side of that, I work a lot with network marketing. Um, you know, when you're in network marketing, it is your business. It is more of what you can produce to maintain those customers and gain those new customers, which is what we teach a lot of in the MSI concept. Um, you can definitely get linked up with that as well. But with this knowledge blast is just letting you know that sales is not something to be afraid of. You know, you've probably done a lot more of it than you think you have before. And you just haven't done it in a capacity that you thought was sales related. You haven't really opened up your mind to that of that you were so selling somebody on something. When you convince them, you know, to go see a movie or that or to watch one of your favorite movies that they've never seen before. You know, that that little word of mouth you know, experience that you had with that person of just pushing them one way or another is really that sales process. And that's all it really is, is pushing somebody one way or another, you know, using your words, using an example, show a demonstration or anything of that nature. So you, know, you might be better at sales than you really think you are. And you should probably take a chance at network marketing because it's going to give you ability to maximize the profit of your sales skill, as well as learn how to better adapt that, st that sales skill. You know, and you don't have to worry about layoffs or downsizing with network marketing because, let's face it, you're not going to fire yourself um, when you are your own boss. So if it sounds like something that you want to be a part of and get into the network network marketing space, I definitely invite you to come be a member of the MSI concept. It's all free to get started with us. You'll see more of this content on video, the knowledge blast that I produce here. So you'll see a lot more topics coming to the YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe to the channel today. Um, you know, just wanted to give you a quick knowledge blast because knowledge is power. You know, and a lot of people say knowledge is power, but you'll see more on what how I feel about knowledge being power um, with the application of knowledge really being the power. So you'll see more of that, you know, definitely with the knowledge blast that continue to come. Definitely check me out at camcalendar.com. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely want to have you see more of this video content as it rolls out so you can get those updates and emails every time that a new video is laid out. But this will be the first video of the Knowledge Blast. There will be many more to come. You will see a lot more of the Knowledge Blast. If you have any topics at all, feel free to get in contact with me. We'll go over those topics, give you that insight. May even have you on a live interview here on the show as well. So, you know, we definitely want to get this YouTube channel rocking. You'll see a lot more of me. I uh, hope you like this video and, and all the other videos that I do have on there. Feel free to check them out. Um, Give me any comments, feedback, anything that you like, uh, you know, and anything else that you want to see. You know, I'll definitely be here to 
Check, you know, add that information and give you more knowledge blast, give you more information, and really help you grow, um, be successful in anything that you're doing. So thank you for your time watching the video. Hope to see you again.